Hey, what's up guys? I got a uh, cool little install video today of a official 30 liter Triumph bag here. It's their dry bag series. Um, I've got all my camping gear in here. I'm talking about tent, sleeping bag, the pad, uh, hammock. I've got my cooking gear. I've got MREs. I got it all. So you don't have to have a massive adventure bike to have a good camping setup. So I went from having three huge containers to store all my gear. I compressed it into this 30 liter bag and I'm living pretty well. So check out how I installed it. You got some questions, hit me up in the comments and we'll go from there. See you guys. Hello, it's Andrew Ryder, DMC, Intercom, Mode. So in the kit, you're gonna have a total of eight straps. It's gonna be four of these metal clip style ones. And then you've got four of the loop based ones. And then obviously you've got a shoulder strap. Now for the purpose of this install, um, the way I found that it looks the cleanest and I think is what is designed uh, for this motorcycle, we'll be using these right here and you'll see why in a few but i will always keep those in the pack just to have extra one in case one of these straps breaks or two if i want to strap anything else to the bike i've got them laying around i've always so when you're looking at your bike and if you don't have the rack on it which i'm not going to put the rack on i don't plan on it uh, i want to keep it clean you don't have to use this triumph has designed their seat with a built-in connection point for those straps that I mentioned. And you're gonna see it by lifting up the seat and noticing these little tabs. There's four of them. So in order to use them, you come in here, you just pop them out, and there they go. By doing that, it gives you your access points for these metal clips. Hey, look at that. So you're going to clip them on and then now you've got a little discreet area where you can still take off your seat while the luggage is mounted to the bike. Because if you do it the other way and you use the loop straps around here or the frame, you can't take this seat off. So you'll never be able to access their super convenience. And again, you can hear it in my voice, uh, charging system. If I can get it open. There we go. Yes, because we're always going to need this, but that's for a different topic. So by doing it with the clips on the seats, um, you'll still be able to lift this up, get in here. I think that's a cool uh, way they designed it, and uh, it's there, so I'm going to use it. Now when you're installing the clips, you want this protective piece to be up against here so it doesn't rub on the seat and damage it. You're going to just tuck and tuck. And then it's gonna flip right around the side there and it's gonna rest. So like I said, that little protective material will keep it from digging into the seat and cutting it open. So you're gonna do that at all four points and make sure that if this is a female plug, you're gonna have to do a male plug on this one because it's gonna be male to female or vice versa on, uh, on these connecting points here. So, you so here's another viewpoint for you. So they're hooked up, nice and neat. Got the little protectant section. We go to the back hookup right there, protecting it. And again, it's giving this a nice clean look. It's not interfering with the takeoff of the seat at all, which uh, I think is a plus, even though most of us probably will never need to get in here for anything, but it's nice that it's there. All right, it's all set up. It's cinched down real nice. It's not gonna go anywhere. And as you can see, I mean, it all, it looks good. It, it looks uh, like they actually designed it to work like this. Good for Triumph, you know? But the nice thing is with this is that you have different options. If you don't wanna do it this way, you can hook it up to the bar with those other straps. You can hook it up to the frame. Or do what I'm gonna do, keep those extra straps in your bag, 
So if you do come across when you're traveling, you want to buy some things and you don't have enough room in here. Okay, well now you get another little drive proof bag or plastic bag, couple of them, wrap them up and then put it on the top of here, take those straps and strap it down. So it's definitely some options for you guys. And uh, this is what I found that works best. This is what's in the actual Triumph manual for install is this procedure. But they also mentioned the other ways too, if you have on a luggage rack on the back, they mentioned using the loop straps. So there you go, guys. I hope you uh, found this video informative. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like and subscribe button. Stay safe, I'll see you on the road. So if you guys are still on the fence about setting up this way, think about this. I'm done riding on uh, my adventure. I come back to the house. I just want to go to the pub. I unhook this, it's done. I'm, I'm out. It doesn't even look like I went camping. Back to being a cafe racer, a little scrambler. These don't really stand out much, so that's awesome. Yeah. Just another thought. See you.